Well, welcome back to Showtime at the Senate. Uh, my name is Nick Baldwin. I'll be your host again today. And uh, next up on the schedule in January, we have the Ann Arbor Film Festival All Ages, Almost All Ages Touring Program. And my guest today is Marin Smith, who is the touring manager of the Ann Arbor Film Festival. Hi, Marin. Hello. And um, I brought her here today to give you guys a little bit of information on the Ann Arbor Film Festival, which is going to be on Saturday, January 25th at the Senate Theater. Uh, doors are at 3 p.m. Uh, the show starts at 4 p.m. Tickets are $5. Kids 12 and under are free. So let's get right into it. Um, tell me about the Ann Arbor Film Festival. So the Ann Arbor Film Festival has been around for 57 years. Um, our 58th festival is going to happen in March, uh, March 24th through the 29th at the Michigan Theater in downtown Ann Arbor. Um, and it started back in 1963. Uh, founded by George Manupelli, who was an experimental filmmaker, and um, he was teaching at U of M at the time, and it kind of started with this idea of kind of like a really DIY spirit um, in reaction to the history of industry in LA and New York. It was kind of a way to be like, hey, we um, are making these really cool, exciting films, and we're telling the stories we want to tell, so let's show them to people where we're living and working and creating them and um, people will want to come because they're not in New York or LA or places like that where they get to have all these experiences all the time. Mm -hmm. um, so that spirit has kind of carried on throughout the years of the festival and really lived on. Um, obviously the industries are still there and people outside of those areas or outside of those industries still have a thirst to see unique stories and hear um, stories that aren't necessarily elevated to the top in those situations. Mm -hmm. um, so we um, are an experimental film festival, um, experimental and avant-garde, and that can mean a lot of different things to right. a lot of different people. Right. Um, but for me, it mostly means like anything that's different and pushing a story forward in a way that hasn't been done before or isn't traditional um take that as it, you will right <laughs> it's a different it's a different way of storytelling and i i saw the program and i can tell you that they are all the films are definitely um interesting and definitely not normal i mean they're not <laughs> typical are they and so now this program that we have they're all short films is the ann arbor film festival all short films or do you have features as well um, so it's mostly short films, but we do have features in competition as well. Okay. Um, so we have, typically we have around 200 films in the festival. Um, so a good amount of those 200 are short films in competition. And then anywhere from like, I would say seven to 12 are feature length. Okay. Um, and then we also have special programs, which are not in competition and are kind of more historical or more specially curated programs of things beyond that got submitted. And now is there, it seems that there's really no restriction on what is, type of film is being submitted exactly. So in this program there were animated films, there were documentary style films. Is that true? Is there any restriction or is it basically anything? Um, it's basically anything. The, real true requirement is that it's experimental or avant-garde so the, if it's the bill of that yeah so experimental film can be a documentary right. it can be a music video it can be animated right. it could be like live performance sometimes can be incorporated into it so yeah i noticed in the program that there was that music was very prevalent in all of these um there were some animated films that were entirely music oriented no talking um and even some of the uh live action ones i forget where this one was filmed but there was all the people doing the different hoops yes uh, tell me about that film so that film is called circus movements oh I, I it was awesome that's it's mesmerizing yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that is actually a personal fave of mine from the last festival and it's great it's so there's all these different circus performers mm -hmm. and it's set in ethiopia um, ethiopia okay and like kind of nature a lot of the time is the background and um that when it showed at the actual festival it was really great to see the 
reaction that people were having because it's a part of the Almost All Ages program, which um, screens on the Saturday of the festival, Saturday morning, and it's, you know, okay. it's all ages, so a lot of kids do come, and when after every performance in that, um, <laughs> people do, like, hula hoops or, like, acrobatic-type things, circus mm-hmm. performances. Um, everyone would cheer after, like, each individual performance. Okay. So. How do you narrow down all of the films from the festival into this program? What is that process? So there's actually a lot to it. So the overall um, screening process uh, takes a few months. Um, So films start getting submitted um, July 1st. Uh, Typically, that's what it's been in years past. Um, And then we have um, kind of uh, a group of people who screen and then there's different rounds and once it gets to the fourth round then it can be you know programmed and our programmer is also our festival director Leslie Raymond so she is the one who curates this program okay um, she curates all the programs um, besides the special programs and um, it's kind of I imagine it's the most difficult to program because a lot of the films that get submitted and um, a lot of experimental films in general I think tend to lead toward like the darker side of things and um, mm-hmm. a lot of them do deal with like heavy topics mm-hmm. um, and they're pushing it forward in unique ways so it can sometimes be darker but the all ages program I think something that they all have in common and what can get you into that program is uh, kind of like a lightness um, the colors the movements and the sound are really usually on the lighter side of things. I would agree with all of that. Uh, I thought that some of the films were a little darker in tone, though. Yeah. It, I don't know if this was intentional or not, but at least for maybe the first half of the program, it seemed that it was uh, it was directed towards um, nature a lot and uh, the environment. Is that is that true? Am I reading too much into it? Or is that by circumstance? No, I think that's great. I think a lot of them... Um do pick up on that tone not every single one of them um i think that's a big topic on a lot of artists minds lately is nature and how we interact with it and how we interact with our different environments so i don't think you're reading too much into it i I agree with you that a lot of them do pick up on that but just circumstantial based on the type of (laughs) films that are being created exactly yeah Yeah. okay um so when did the touring program begin So the touring program um, started after the second festival. So it has actually been around for 56 years. It will not stop. It keeps (laughs) going all around the world. Um, So So the festival tours the whole world. (laughs) Well, ideally it would tour the whole world. (laughs) And and the films are from all over the world. Exactly, yeah. So where do you guys typically, I mean, where do you guys typically have this tour? I mean, we have it in Detroit. It's in Ann Arbor. Yeah, so just a little history of it. It used to be, uh, the entire festival actually used to be 16 millimeter films only for a a long time. And so the tour itself was comprised of um, award-winning films from the festival and just all spliced into one 16 millimeter reel and shipped place to place. I from what it seems like, I wasn't there at the beginning, right. but <laughs> it started off like in a lot of Midwestern places, kind of feeding this hunger based around the whole you know, spirit of the festival for like, we want to see these films mm-hmm. and this type of art where we live. Um, but in recent years and over the course of many years, actually, it's screened in places like universities, um, micro cinemas, um, other festivals sometimes will play at libraries, community centers, pretty much anywhere that's doing film screenings or community gatherings is a good candidate to host the tour. Okay. Yeah. And I think you said it. So this is not a preview of this of, of the upcoming festival. This is actually essentially a recap of last year's. Yes. So um, there's different touring programs that we have. Um, two of which are made up of award-winning films from the last festival that happened in March of 2019. Okay. And then this Almost All Ages program, this is actually the first time we've offered the Almost All Ages program um, in replace of our 16 millimeter program. Um, And so that program 
happens in its entirety the same order that it's going to play at the Senate on Saturday, January 25th at 4 (laughs) p.m. Yeah, so that program is curated for the festival, and now it's curated to with the tour in mind. Okay. Yeah. Um, The film specifically in this program, the all age, almost all ages program. Anything you want to highlight about these films? Yeah. Personal so. favorite, maybe? <laughs> um, I guess I'll just start with my overall love of this program in general. Um, a lot of times when we're telling people who haven't been to the festival before or aren't familiar with experimental film, um, that can be a kind of an intimidating thing to just come to a festival that, of experimental film. So a lot of the time we'll position them by saying, oh, it's not like going to a regular movie theater where you're going to see like Marvel or a movie like right. that. It's more like going to an art gallery where mm-hmm. you might see something that, you know, you kind of have to think over. It might hit you differently than just your standard narrative film. Um, and so that's how we describe all the films. But I like to think of the Almost All Ages program as kind of public art. Okay. Like if you're out and about, you're definitely seeing art everywhere, especially in Detroit. I know there's like a lot of murals on the wall, like built sides of buildings and things like that. Oh, so yeah. I like to think of when you interact with the Almost All Ages program, it's kind of similar to that. It's in a familiar environment, especially when it's in, on the tour. Like you're probably seeing it somewhere you've been before, maybe not, but you're definitely seeing it in a way that you're used to seeing movies on a screen, usually in a dark room right. with other people. Um, So these films just create, you don't have to think about them too hard because you're in a normal environment and they're bright. They have great sound. Most, almost every single one of them, I would point out the sound if you're watching it. Um, They have just kind of this excited quality about it. And they are more about emotion like making you feel something rather than making you overthink something. Right. So it's a good way to dip your toes into um, this type of film. Certainly. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Again, the Almost All Ages program, the Ann Arbor Film Festival, is going to be on Saturday, January 25th at the Senate Theater. Doors at 3 p.m. Uh, movie is at 4 p.m. Tickets $5. Kids 12 and under free. Am I missing anything? No, I think that's it. Anything else you want to add? (laughs) I think you covered it. I think we got it.